Hi everybody, this is Ashish from Technospot.net and today I'll talk about a new feature that was introduced in Microsoft Image Composite Editor, short ICE, that now allows it to create panorama images from videos. Panorama images are basically composite images where you combine a lot of images together to give one image and those images are actually taken from different angle. So the final image which comes out looks like they is taken from a big camera with a wide angle and you if you have a lot of people sitting on different places they can come together and look like you know they have been sitting together and has been done together and all the stuff so let's see how the uh, panorama images can be created from the videos so you need to go to file click on new video panorama select a video the selected files you can see is 3 most of the mobile files are supported, AVI, MV4, etc. I'll select my son's video and this is the panorama editor, I'll call it. This part defines what parts of video can get into uh, the final panorama image. So what you need to do is you need to draw a rectangle around the area which you want to come in. Select whatever is required. Then you need to move your time frame to next video, possibly a bit away from that. So I'll just go back a bit and this is, no, not this one. We'll just go a bit back. Okay, this is perfect. So I'll just select one. Now possible to select a bit wider so the mix and match can happen easily. Avoid confusions like don't mark part of the image, same part if we have lot of people in the same spot. I'm just trying to go back it. Okay, this is much cleaner shot, so I'll just select this. We'll go ahead. Make sure you're choosing the right part that is what is important if you go for a manual selection so on the same part so I'll just skip it moreover the orientation is different so it might act differently so just move a bit and this is perfect I'll just select this part and then move next I'll select this part I'm purposely selecting this so we can see an example of overlap this way this is a perfect spot uh, I just lost it okay I'll just select this part Let's see if I can get one more now I'll not select these parts but it's in the same area. Just go ahead and maybe I'll just select this part too. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm done. So now what we need to do is just maximize it and click on OK. Now we'll start analyzing the video. We'll have to wait for a couple of minutes maybe four or five depending on the video length and how many number of sections you have selected for creating the panorama so i'll just pause it for a while and we'll be back okay we're back and now the software is matching the source images what it does is it create images from the video and then try to combine and match to create one panorama and we'll see just the panorama coming it's now joining all the images and depending on how fast your computer is the faster it will probably if you have a graphics card the processing will take even much much less time I don't have it so I had to pause the images a couple of times in between now one thing you should notice is the camera motion type available here it has this 30 or 43 images and the angle is 180.5 degree horizontally and 42.6 degree vertically so it's similar to 
what camera does taking images from here this angle that angle and give you a 3d view and this is the image we have now taking a look at the image I messed up this part because I had selected two images or two parts twice here which I did on purpose and uh, we have this part perfect this is the starting part which is perfect overall it looks good so now what I can do is since I don't want this I will just cut off this and uh, I'm not sure because we cannot remove the middle part so I cannot crop this so what we'll do is uh, we'll change the camera motion to plane motion 1 it will again start reading source images do composite so I'll just pause okay we are back now we're back and now we have a bit I'll not say a bit I'll say a lot better image now because the effect of overlapping image is gone and we have one image less here and now I can just stitch or I just I can just keep this way take it to a Photoshop editor or any editor just fix this part otherwise the whole image is pretty fine now if you have been wondering why the other section like uh, my son's photograph which is going to the bedroom was not taken so what it does it takes the maximum possible angle and since it it needs to take care of all the images you have marked so it will find what is the most optimal solution for you you can of course change the camera motion here and you can get a different view and this is a tool for cropping this is the export if you want you can go for PNG and uh, just make sure the cropping and all is fine you can zoom if you want you can zoom out and we'll just export to disk now and I'll select 122 and then now it will start saving it I'll pause again Okay, what I want to show you is the image which I took before this is what I was doing when I was testing the software this came out pretty nicely except the last part I took again the same mistake here rest of the part looks excellent and we'll just see okay it's still saving now since it has to combine a lot of images so it takes a bit of time it's combining 30 images but it will get over with a few seconds and we'll go back to this okay we are here and I'll just change the file name to one and this is the final image we have okay it seems we do have a problem here but it looks okay not a problem the rest of the photographs came out nicely and we can go back here and see now if you see how difference how much different it is for example the image here is showing his face very clearly but if you check in the ICE it's not that clear probably if you zoom we'll see if I can zoom not even on zoom level I can see now probably it's a bug but overall it looks good and this is how you create if you want you can publish it to photosend.net you might need a live ID to sign in and this is how you create panorama images from videos if you have any question drop your question in the comments in the post or if you are watching it on YouTube do it there thanks for watching